Hi y'all, it's Neva from Manic Mama Musings. How y'all been? I know I haven't been on for a few days. LJ's days off, I kind of try to enjoy him, you know, as much as I can. As much as is possible with him until he starts smarting off and I have to put him in his place. Hell me. Not really. Um, he makes people think he's amused, but he's not. It's not happening. Um, so I am on my way to get my first COVID shot, y'all. I'm a little nervous. Happy and nervous at the same time, you know, because some weird stuff's going on. So I'm a little nervous. I'm trying to, hey, I look better. Like, I didn't like that right there. Water, 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 water. But anyway, um, makes me self-conscious. I can see it real good when I do the car, especially with this thing on. There, there we go. Better. Huh? Okay, so I'm headed to get my shot. I will let y'all know how I feel after my first shot. I'll record either on the way home or later on, or or LG will come on and say I feel like crap, and there won't be a video, and that apparently the first shot knocked me on my butt because it affects everybody differently. Most people just say they're real tired after the first shot, and the second one is the one that's the, the killer. Oh, shouldn't say it that way, but the one that gets you makes you big. So we shall see, because it's just the first one. Woohoo! Can y'all tell that I'm still tired? I am. Drink a cup of coffee. I gotta show y'all the coffee. What was it called? Death Wish Coffee? Uh, was Death. I think it's Death Wish Coffee, yeah. Anyway, I, had some, I bought some strong coffee yesterday. We tried it today. LJ says he's jittery. I ain't feeling nothing, so apparently I'm immune to caffeine, but it's whatever. Yeah, I'm a tweaky week. Okay. I love y'all, and I will get back to you. Bye. Hey, I'm back. I did it. I got my first shot. I got the Moderna. And I go back in 28 days for my second one. I didn't feel the shot. I didn't feel it at all. I was so surprised. Like I knew like she was getting ready to because I could feel the pressure for pushing on my arm. But I didn't even feel the needle go in. It was amazing. So hopefully the rest of it's that smooth. I'm feeling kind of yucky, but that's just normal for me. So we'll see if I get to feeling real bad or not. Hopefully not. Um, we're supposed to have subs tonight. With help make your own sub night with the kids. Um, so hopefully I don't get to feeling yucky. I might take a nap when I get home just in case, you know, it makes me sleepy. But right now I feel okay. I'll update y'all later. Love you. Bye. I forgot. The song of the day is Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Get it? Because I got a shot today. Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Pat Benatar. Okay, maybe y'all might not. Yes, by Pat Benatar. Y'all might not think that's as funny as I do. But the Hit Me With The Good Shot. The Best Shot. Something. It me you way. Okay. Hey y'all, um, so I decided to jump on here, uh, the videos ahead of here was yesterday, which was Friday, April, I think 16th, and I got my shot. It didn't feel too bad when I recorded, because you know, that was right after the shot, right before and right after. So I got home and I started getting sleepy, and I was kind of achy. And I thought, well, they say that first shot makes you tired. So maybe if I just sleep it off, I'll be okay. And we had make your own subs with Ran and Faustine. And then I told them, I was like, I have to go lay down. So I came and laid down. And I woke up this morning and I was feeling, uh, tonight, I, that, um, I don't feel so good. But all in all, it'll be worth it. Um, even if it just takes away some of the anxiety I have about people getting sick. But um, I don't regret getting the shot. Just um, my doctor did tell me that even the first shot could put me into a flare. And that's what feels like is coming, but a really bad one. I will try to update y'all tomorrow. LJ and I watch Ghostbusters, but we have not done our movie and Stitch movie. So when I get to feeling better, I have quite a few videos to make um i would like to ask you guys to pray for a dear friend of mine who had a stroke 
And I think the scariest part is that she's like five or six years younger than me. Um, I don't know any details. I just know that she had a stroke. And she's someone who went to school with my baby sister and ended up being one of my very best friends. And so um, when I know more, maybe I'll feel better. But if you could just keep her in your prayers, I would appreciate it. And I'm going to say good night for now. And everybody have a wonderful Sunday. And hopefully I will feel better tomorrow. Bye.